And on the show right now, we have the latest signing for Girona. He's come on loan from their real. It's Anot. Dan Juma, Anot, talk to me. What does it feel like being a player for Girona currently? feels amazing. Um, it's been great so far. The experience has been phenomenal. My teammates have really received me well. My staff has, has really received me well. Everyone from the club has really helped me settle. Um, it's only been almost two weeks, but I'm really looking forward to what's to come. And obviously, you speak very good English. What do you use in communicating with your teammates? Is it Spanish or English? No, no, no. I speak Spanish. I, uh, my, my Spanish is okay. I can understand more or less uh, almost everything. I try to speak as much Spanish as I can because I think it's important to get used to the culture. And obviously, the people speak Spanish here, so you need to get used to the, to the culture and give them the respect because I'm in their country, isn't it? So I think it's important to try at least to do your best to speak Spanish. I mean, lovely. I mean, I can bet your Spanish is way better than mine. The only Spanish I know how to speak is Ketal. And apart from Ketal, that's it. You know, I can't go anything further than that. <laughs> um, now, obviously, you've had two goals in two games, like, recently. Um, what are your fans, or what should they expect from you in the season? I hope to continue on the same path. I hope to uh, contribute with a lot of goals and assists for the team, because I think, ultimately, that's your task uh, as a forward player. But nevertheless, I hope to play good. I hope to win a lot of games with the club and I hope to, uh, to be part of a great project. Wow. Well, OK, so your next game currently is going to be Barcelona. Now, the history between Barcelona and Girona, the last three games, um, Girona have beaten um, Barcelona. One was a draw, two of them was pure win. Is this something you are hoping that on Sunday would be the trend to continue? Um, what's your, what would you be looking forward to for that game? I mean, it would be ideal, obviously, to, to win at home, uh, especially against such a big club as Barcelona. Um, we're preparing in the same way as we prepare for all the other clubs. Uh, you obviously know that Barcelona is a massive club. It's a, it's a huge threat. They've really started the season well, so we, we, can, we can never underestimate their capacities. But nevertheless, we'll do our best to, uh, to perform in the best way possible. I mean, when you look at the team, the team for Barcelona, looking at the likes of you know somebody as young as Lamin Yamal doing you know some really crazy exploits with Barcelona, do you think that people like that are kind of a threat for the game coming on Sunday? Of course, uh, not only Lamin Yamal. I think the whole the whole team is is uh, is phenomenal. They've really started well this season, and I think you have to prepare for the entire team and not just one player. Um, we obviously know their quality. They've got a lot of good players up front, uh, in the midfield, in the back, everywhere. And it always, it always, it always remain Barcelona, which is one of the best clubs in the world. So you need to make sure that you prepare in the best way possible against them, which we will do. Right. Okay. I mean, you've had quite a few um, clubs. You've played in England. You've obviously played in La Liga. Um, you're signed to Villarreal, and you've been on loan from Villarreal to quite a few clubs. What is that? You know, most important challenge that you tend to face joining a new club for the first time. Um. I I'm very fortunate. I think I have a very good relationship with, with my uh, parent club, should I say, Villarreal. Um, obviously, I've been at Tottenham in the last few years, uh, which for me was a very ambitious step because I played Champions League as well. Uh, and Tottenham, to me as well, is one of the greatest clubs in the world. And it's, it was a huge opportunity for me. And I feel that it's the same this year. Um, I've been given a great opportunity here to play for a good club in one of the best leagues in the world, if not the best league in the world. And obviously with um, being able to compete in, in, on the highest platform in football possible, which is the Champions League, I think, for club football, I think I have a great opportunity here for a great club with great teammates to, um, to have a phenomenal season. Okay, lovely. Now, um, Dan Juma, I mean, you have roots from Nigeria, you know, which um, fortunately I come from, which, I mean, I would always say is the best country in Africa. What would be your take? Wow, how would you see, what's your take on the Nigerian football currently? I think the Nigerian football has always been great. Um, not always currently, but I think in the past years as well. I think there are many, many great Nigerian football players. Uh, I think Nigeria has been fortunate to bring forth a lot of great Nigerian football players as well. Um, and I hope we need to continue the trend. I think that the, the country itself is, is beautiful. I think we have a very um, educated and felt a very exciting youth um, that is on the way. If you look to the Nigerian younger players, I think in, in, the, in, in the football world there are a lot of Nigerian younger players as well that definitely deserve a chance. Um, so I think we, we, we bring a lot of exciting uh, players forward and hopefully a lot to remain. Now, looking at the Nigerian team, uh, by the way, thank you for such a brilliant answer. Looking at the Nigerian team, if you were to pick one player to come join you in your club in Girona right now, who is that player going to be from the Super Eagles of Nigeria? Um, 
I played with uh, I played with uh, some watch Grazer as well, obviously in Villarreal. When I played on the left, he played on the right. I think we done we done uh, we done some great things for the club. Uh, so he's uh, he's a good friend of mine. So he will be one to choose. But I think for me, I think Victor Osman will make my life a lot easier. I think he just give a cross and 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 uh, he will head every ball in, in the net. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, we played them as well in the preseason. Um, we played Napoli in the preseason when he was still there. And I think Victor Osman is a very excited player as well in the national team. Obviously, I think uh, you know better than me how good he is. I mean, you probably know better than me because you've, I mean, been, you shared the same pitch with these guys. Um, I mean, I'll just give you this last really tricky question. Have you had jello fries before? Have I had it before? It's a, it's a, it's a disrespectful question, this. <laughs> 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 Everything, huh? uh, actually, from, from mean, the jello fries just, to the fried rice to, like to the, the, the gari, eba, everything. Across to you uh, in the weekend. This is what we need to eat after the games. This is what keeps me strong. <laughs> Whoa! Then the next time I meet you, I think I'm going to get you some really nice please. amala or pound of jam and igusi soup because these are the things Step you need to start well, giving us bring everything. Crazy bring everything. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me, Danjuma. Thank you very much for your time to you. as well.